Are you a race fan or just a fan of staying in a unique upscale hotel? Today we look at the Daytona Hotel in Daytona Beach, Florida. The Daytona Hotel is a Marriott Autograph Hotel, and according to Marriott's website, an Autograph Hotel is exactly like nothing else, and this boutique hotel definitely leaves a lasting impression. The hotel is located directly across from the Daytona International Speedway and is part of the shops and restaurants of One Daytona. When you arrive, you begin to see the inspiration of racing's history with a race car greeting you at the hotel doors, letting you know that this is not your average hotel. As you walk inside, the decor has a cool contemporary vibe. And as a side note, this hotel smells amazing. This artist rendering is a modern interpretation of Sir Malcolm's Bluebird race car, which broke the land speed record on Daytona Beach. You get to the lobby by entering the elevators and going to the second floor. When the doors open, you are greeted with more race cars, a beautiful bar called the Blue Flame, and the restaurant Sir Malcolm, and of course, the friendly hotel staff at the front desk. Looking up, you see a rotating sculpture which resembles a giant hubcap. The second floor is the hub of the hotel, which also has a business center and a gift shop. The Blue Flame Bar is hip and unbeat and gives a nod to the Prohibition era with the signature cocktails of moonshine. Some moonshine is also in your room mini bar as well. The Blue Flame Bar leads out to a beautiful outdoor terrace with contemporary seating which overlooks the One Daytona Shopping Plaza filled with restaurants like P.F. Chang and Rock Bottom and shopping like Lily Pulitzer and Sunglass Hut. This overlooks the fountains called Victory Circle, which gives you a show throughout the day, and less on days like today where concerts are happening in this space, like they were during the Daytona 500 race week for us. All through the second floor, you can enjoy the different famous race cars in this space. They also change these race cars out at different times. The hotel's restaurant, Sir Malcolm, is also unique with an early Mario Andretti race car and a Harley Davidson motorcycle front and center. And how about these lamps which resemble large vintage race car headlights? Sir Malcolm restaurant is named after the famous race car driver, Sir Malcolm Campbell, who set land speed records, including some in Daytona Beach. This is a life-size replica of his car that is inside the hotel. While still on the second floor, take a walk down the hall past Sir Malcolm's restaurant and you will discover racing memorabilia and unique art to the hotel. A really unique touch is to go into the public bathroom and instead of music playing, you hear race commentary of races from years gone by. It was a very cool, unexpected touch. In the breezeway leading to one Daytona shops and restaurants, there are two murals. One is a portrayal of the history of racing in Daytona. And one is of the famous Daytona Beach. The Daytona Hotel has a nice resort style pool that's surrounded by palm trees and loungers and cabanas.
There's also a nice sitting area with a fire pit that's lit in the evening. It's a nice space to just sit with friends and enjoy a drink. The common areas of the hotel showcases Daytona's race history, so I was expecting the rooms to scream racing, but to my surprise, they did not. Instead, the rooms are a classy nod towards racing with beautiful contemporary vibe, which subtly lets you know that you definitely are in a unique place. On this trip, we were in room 421 with no balcony, not our usual room request because we were late booking our room for the Daytona 500 race week. The room features iPads, complimentary Wi-Fi, and nods towards racing throughout. Each room has a fridge, coffee maker, and the hotel's unique version of a mini bar, which has some wine, alcohol, complete with jiggers, corkscrew, and mixers, plus what I call upscale snacks. Now we may or may not have indulged, but that video is for another time. The in-room TV has a channel which is unique to the hotel, telling all about the winners of the Daytona 500 races up to the year 2019, something that you would definitely want to see if you're a race fan. And a feature I always appreciate in any hotel is your being able to log into your Netflix account, and this one you could do that. We've stayed here a few times since the pandemic, and there was not a valet or bell service this time, but I do hope that they bring that back. But no worries because the parking lot is right outside of the hotel, so it's not a far walk at all. This hotel is in a prime location right across from the world-class Daytona International Speedway. It's just a mile to the Daytona Beach International Airport and a short drive to the world famous Daytona Beach. And there's a safe, easy access pedestrian walkway from one Daytona to the Daytona International Speedway. The hotel offers a few fun packages for race fans where you stay and ride in a real race car on the speedway. I'll link that to the hotel website below. And hubby and I always ask would we stay again, and yes, we have a few times, and have always been impressed with the hotel and its staff.